Thanks, Darwin. It's a good fight. Nice look. We got the amulet. Perfect. Let's move on. Spawns are dangerous in this zone. Darwin, can you teleport us? Sure. Go ahead. I'll catch up with you later. I need to check my emails. Okay. Log out. A century of technological revolution. The revolution did happen, just not really the way people thought it would. People were expecting robots, flying cars, more spatial exploration. Well, all of that did happen, but none of it was the revolution. The revolution wasn't our better grasp and control on our reality. It was our escape from it. It all started as just games. Virtual worlds called Verses, in which players could play avatars in different kinds of sets. From medieval to science fiction to western. You name it. These Verses became more and more realistic. Until the moment it became difficult to tell the difference between reality and fantasy. When there was no reason to stay in the real world anymore. Society has changed. 75% of the population known as the connected don't give a damn about reality anymore and now spend all of their time online leaving the real world to a small minority. The revolution did happen, just not the way people thought it would.
Martin, ¿eh? Nash. We have a new case. It happened a few hours ago. Players from the Westlandverse were killed. More virulently than the last attack. How many? 148. Our players were prepared, but it wasn't enough. They managed to perfect the virus. How are you going to hide 148 dead bodies? That's our job, Nash. Yours is to find out who's responsible. This terrorist threat has got to be dealt with as soon as possible. The attacks are getting out of hand. Maybe it's time to contact Interpol. I don't think that's a good idea. Their servers are hacked all the time. If Interpol got involved, we wouldn't be able to target the necromancers directly. I think your wages show the recognition we have of your talent. You, of all people, wouldn't want to see this problem go to someone else. Of course not. That's not what I meant. But the number of casualties are increasing every single time. Maybe we're not proceeding in the best way possible. The necromancers are but a few. They have distinct and independent cells. With each cell that we destroy, we are a step closer to a resolution. It takes time, but we are winning. Okay, what's the address? I'm uploading the information onto your PDA. So far, all we have is a location. The virus was traced back to an IP address. Find who the necromancers are and eliminate them. You'll get paid for the terrorists behind the attack, as well as any cell member that you identify. Once you proceed to elimination, contact us. We'll send in the cleaners. As per usual. Nash, this latest crisis is unfortunate, but we're delighted to have you on board. We trust you. I'll try not to disappoint them. The good thing with having most of the population locking itself inside is that the risk of getting caught while breaking and entering someplace is pretty low. Typical. Oh, <laughs> 
was fun. Stop being such a softy dude. Try not to enjoy torturing me so much. You do have a peculiar way of thanking people. You could have said thank you, Morel, for welcoming me in the middle of the night, or thank you, Morel, for patching me up when I turn up without any notice. Would you just shut up? Yeah, that too. I presume you could have said that too, but it's not so nice though. Anyway, what happened? Bad encounter. Bad encounter. Stop pulling my leg. This kind of thing doesn't happen anymore. You can't make bad encounters in the streets nowadays. There's no one left to meet in the streets. Well, except in places like here. Oh, you didn't get mugged out there, I hope? No. Good. Seriously, what do you really want? Look, I know you. You like me. No, 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 no. Don't say anything. I know it. You like me. I might be the closest thing to a friend you've got, but still, you wouldn't go as far as to stop by just to get some news. And I'm doing well, by the way. Thanks for asking. No, you do need something from me. And this has got nothing to do with some stitching up. I'm quite sure you've got everything you need at your place for that, so... There's a police camera at Rue de Defer and Rue Montauban. Can you access the history records? You're talking about hacking Interpol servers. It's a bit risky. I'm told they're hacked into all the time. Can you do it? Hey, I never said I couldn't do it. I just said it was risky. That's all. 2,000 euro credits for you if you can do it. Money? I... <laughs> I don't want money. What I want, money can't buy. Or not that easily. But I know that you have some clients with access to certain hardware. And I do like hardware. So, if you can get me that, I'll take care of your camera. Okay, so what you're looking for? Maybe you want to know the guy who did that to you went? Then that would mean hacking the records of all the other cameras in the neighborhood, and that could become heavy. I would probably get caught before getting anything. No, don't bother following them. Those guys tend to use sewers and abandoned subway lines as their mode of operation. No, his face and good resolution's all I need, then I can identify him. Okay. Um, how will I know which one is your guy? He's a big, bald, ugly son of a bitch. You can't mess him. Are you even sure that he went in front of the camera, at least? No, I don't even know which way he went when he left the building. The damn camera's positioned down the street. It doesn't overlook the building's entrance. Okay. So, what do I do if I can't find him? I do a face recognition analysis. Identify anyone who's been appearing near the building more than once in the last seven days. Not before. Uh, okay. Seriously, who still hires a private in this day and age? 
on people who can afford it. And that's cool with me, because I like getting paid. Yeah. And I don't picture you becoming connected, if only because of what happened to Helena. Seriously. What the fuck is wrong with you? Every single time I come over here, you mention her name. Sorry, sorry, okay? Just slipped out of my mouth. Well, you know me, I say shit. You, you come around asking for weird stuff, and me, I say shit, this is just who we are, right? Hey, we good? No matter how many times I tell him, he always talks about Helena. That being said, the guy's not a complete idiot. He could feel something's off with his sister's death. But he could never figure it out. I guess that's what's still troubling him. I had connected the doorbell to my gaming station. Almost no one was doing it anymore. Who is it? The one who works when you spend some good time online. Open up. Anyone follow you? There's no one outside. Like yesterday and like the day before that. Jesus, get real. Well, maybe try calling next time. And talk about some illegal business over the phone. What's wrong? You've been spending too much time in your fairy worlds. In reality, things work differently. So what did you find? About the guy who had fun with your face? Nothing. I checked all six hours before the assault and the two hours after, and no one that looked like your guy walked in front of that camera. However... Go on. However, I found a guy who appeared several times during the last three days before your arrival. Never before, never after. Definitely not a fighter, though. Good. What about the resolution scam? Got it. Don't worry. Well, is it good? Does it work? Chill out. I put that on the flash drive to avoid sending it over the net. It's all here. Did you receive your hardware list that you wanted? No, not yet. But it's okay. I trust you. You're the honest kind. Not always the nice kind, but definitely the honest kind. Don't worry. I transmitted all the info. You'll get it soon. Okay. Any good news? Oh, I see you've encountered some complications. Let's just say they know I'm after them. Indeed they do. What have you got? I have a man's face on the video. I need you to put it through your database so I can identify him. We'll take care of that. Find out who the person on the video is and get me the results. That shouldn't take very long. So has Interpol been in touch yet? So far we've been able to forge the deaths. Gamers who die connected, it happens every day. Just a little makeup to hide the burns caused by the brain discharge. Sounds appetizing. Your food tastes are your own concern. Here we are, Leonard Lorenz, 144 Rue Michel Colucci, apartment 406. I'm off then. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm going to need a new gun. It will be deducted from your bounties. Stop by the warehouse.
Well, I have a job to do. Yeah, I know. Not a very nice job. Not very brave for me to kill someone who can't defend themselves or even know what's happening to them. Then again, we're talking about a guy who just killed 148 innocent gamers. Not really a saint. On the other hand, killing a necromancer while he's connected is actually very useful to me. Leonard didn't have time to log out, so if I'm fast enough to take his place, the machine will accept me as the necromancer, which allows me to use his avatar. Nothing better for an undercover job. I can't focus. You're worried. I can't tell. I came in just on a message. Meeting has been planned to discuss it. We need to go to the surface. And one Cerberus. For now, the Cerberus is a man threat. As soon as they get destroyed, they will start fighting each other. Good thing. That means they won't pay attention to us. Indeed. Which way do you want to take? Down the road. I don't hear any sniper shots. If we are discreet enough, should be able to move on without being targeted. Let's try. Just stop working. You must have a scrambler. Should expect an ambush. Do we even have time for that kind of shit? We don't have the choice. Do we? Let's go.
Nah, the deeper we are, the PvP zone, the harder it is for players to survive. So the safer it is for us. No risk to run into an agent randomly. I'm gonna use the flash grenade. Thank you for joining us. Bring the beacon. So, any news? Yes. We got new visitors at the flat we used for the last attack. Who? Another guy working solo? No. Interpol. This time we prefer to stay under the radar. This is the problem with our attacks. The more efficient they become, the more traction we get from the dangerous people. Yeah, probably. This being said, we're gonna have to change our strategy radically. The one that we're using is just not working. Our plan was to scare the cameras off, to force them to leave the verses, but we can't control the media. So we have no way to let the people know that there are more and more cybertronic deaths. To most of them, they're just urban legends. And the gamers who vanished are just playing new avatars or left for the verses. It's useless to kill people under such a condition. So what's the new angle then? Less violent, but much more radical. I'm guessing Leonard is dead, right? You didn't make the rilling sign when you came in. So chances are you're not Leonard. But let us give you a chance to prove us wrong. What is the best word for the bunker A4? That's what I thought. You have nothing to worry about. It's a strong belief on mine. But you're wrong. You won't talk, believe me. <sighs> this must amuse you, I'm sure. All the negative sensations, such as pain, are of a naturally decrease to a minimum when we are online. So, the question is, how do you expect to torture someone properly then? Well, you do it offline. In 
order for you to play Leonard's avatar, you had to do it from his place, right? That is very astute of you. But it also means that your body is still there. And we're merely going to recover it. Go. Oh. Log out. What's happening? I can't log out. The small device I asked to be brought here prevents anyone around from disconnecting. This is why John and Leslie had to leave the room to look off. Now offline, they just have to go to Leonard's flat, where they will find your body. <laughs> what are you going to do to me? Probably what you did to Leonard. Our society was building up producers and consumers. Those who were successful enough in their studies were formatted to become efficient producers. The others, however, the consumers, always had a tendency not to be formatted enough, always giving their opinion, always challenging the privileges of our political elites, always criticizing inequalities. Critical sense became a pain for the rulers. The virtual world solved that. Right? What's more docile than a gamer? Those virtual junkies' real life is of no interest anymore. Why do you think Interpol is now on the case? The politicians have just as much interest in maintaining the status quo as the corporations. All they want is to keep the cameras in their vegetative state. But what you do is to fulfill the will of the rulers. You are helping them uphold their control over us. From a moral perspective, this is a crime. And for that, you deserve to die. Asshole. Always a nice word. People must love you. What's the matter? Is it possible to prevent a gamer from logging out? What? Uh, as far as I know, it can't be done. Why? Never mind. I need you to search the database from the Versal Meta Worlds. Map 16, coordinates 144, backslash negative 5, dot 102, dot. And find out who's been logging in or out the last few hours. Okay, but... It's going to take some time. Do you want me to come to your place when I have the results? No, I can wait here. Just tell me if anything's gonna happen. Oh, shit. The car's landed on the roof. We have visitors.
you do look good. Uh, thanks. What I mean by that, mister, is that you're not a beast, nor that skinny. This neighborhood is inhabited by connected hybrids and living all the same, so it was hard to imagine what you'd look like. I take it you're not a connected. Uh, well, I, I spent some time online. Mm -hmm. But but I keep on spending time here t too, sometimes. So you're a hybrid. Good. You know how to keep a grip on our reality. I like that in a man. And you see, I do believe that we also have other points in common. Yes, maybe. Yes. We are looking for the same thing. For instance, when you hack our servers in order to search the record history of a camera which happens to be located just near the scene of a very recent Cybertronic crime, I think our spheres of interest are pretty close. What I'd like to know, Mr. Morel, is why you were interested in this specific camera. Uh, well, I... I was curious, that's it. Curiosity, Mr. Morel, is a sin. I feel a man should stick to some boundaries. Otherwise, he must be called to order. Hmm? Oh, look, let me simplify the situation for you. First possibility. You worked for the terrorists. But in that case, you would have erased the file. So, second possibility. You worked for someone also very interested in finding these terrorists. I strongly suspect the corporations attacked by them. Which is why I'm going to ask you nicely. Who recruited you, Mr. Morel? No one recruited me, all right? I just came across an internal memo, best glass corporations about the attack. And I thought that if I could discover some valuable information, then maybe it was a way for me to negotiate a good amount of credits by selling it to best glass. Best glass wasn't one of the attacked companies. Yet they still had the info. So. You're not working for any multinational corporation? No. Well, not like this, at least. How so? I test security systems by finding out failures in them. Several companies contact me so I can test theirs. If I succeed in getting in, then I get a nice amount of credits in exchange for a report explaining what the failures are and how to correct the system. This is why I live here. In a connected area. Breaking in is harder from outside since I can't connect directly to a network inside New District. Well, I guess our agency could use your services one of these days. With pleasure. We, we just need to. You will do it pro bono, won't you? And on our side, we won't pay too much attention to the legality or the origin of your hardware here. That does seem like an acceptable deal, doesn't it? Yes. So between us, between friends, what did you find on the recording history of that camera? Nothing. Just a few people walking, but, but I found nothing special about them. I mean, if I found anything, anything at all, 
I would have already sold it to first class, but I really couldn't find a thing. Well... We will meet again, Mr. Morel. What are you doing? Bathroom. Get a grip on that bladder, we gotta move. There's somebody else I really want to pay a visit to. They're gone! Thanks for not ratting me out. Are you sure it's worth it? You're taking the risk of ending up between Interpol, the corporations, and the terrorists. Is it the first time you hear about this kind of attack? Yes. Why? There have been others before. Well, apparently the terrorists are planning on changing their operating mode, but I have no idea how. I should have made that son of a bitch talk more. Made who talk? Thanks for having my back. I owe you. Can I still count on you for the map analysis in all meta worlds? Yeah. Okay, I'm on it. As I was listening to Camille, it was obvious he had no idea who I was. So in all likelihood, the bastard who beat me up never transmitted my coordinates. And I recovered my ID. My flat was probably still safe. Well, in theory, that is. Wanted to see me? Interpol came here. They know. 
It was only a matter of time. He didn't tell me the other companies were concerned. I didn't know. You've obviously discovered things yourself. What have you got? The attack was launched against the three biggest verse companies, two officially. The other ones, we both know the truth about that. Yes, I received your message. Four down, end of the line. We sent in the cleaners, but Interpol was already there. On the one hand, I congratulate you for eliminating four of them. On the other hand, I find it quite frustrating that the trail has seemed to go cold. Have you absolutely no new ideas? No. I had someone look into the connections and disconnections of the zone where the necromancers were hiding. But nothing. Not even one over the last few weeks. I guess they always have some of them connected to protect the area from other players, and they just log in or log out from elsewhere. It's very clever, and there's no way to track them. We need to resolve this as quickly as possible. I don't like Interpol hanging around our business. We are allies, but we are not friends. How's that? We pay the authorities the taxes they need. They pay the connected, the universal income. And the connected pay us to use our verses. It's all a matter of balance. But isn't it expensive for the governments to pay everyone's universal incomes? No, the amounts are relatively low. They pay them rent, a little food, and for the connection. If you remember in the old days, they used to have to pay for health care, retirement fund, and unemployment insurance. Now they have to pay much less, and for not as long. The connected barely reach a life expectancy of past 40. They're obese, underfed, no health care, poor hygiene. What do you expect? Don't fool yourself. If the politicians want to keep things the way they are, it's because they benefit from it. Anyway, the guys from Interpol pretend they know more than we do about the necromancers behind the latest attack. I prefer not to send in our own hackers against them. You have your own private connections. Go in there and find out what you can before them. And keep me posted. Will do. Is it me or you've been spending all of your time at my place lately? Maybe you should start paying rent. I've been thinking, the guy from Interpol, he told you he wanted you to test out his server security, am I right? Uh, yes. So what if you access the servers now? You could always just pretend that you were curious and that you just wanted to see for yourself just how reliable his protocols are. Come on. How many times you want me to get mute for you? It's a walk in the park for you compared to last time. You're not downloading hours and hours of video files. I just want to know what they have on Cybertronic Attack. Oh, just that. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'll do it. Mm, this is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Angel. Surprisingly easy to find, Nash. Do we know each other? Yes, we've met. I'm Camille. Camille. You look less manly than the last time we met. You're obviously a very perceptive person, but I'm not here to discuss my taste in avatars. Is it the... Uh... First time we meet, I mean offline. Your face looks familiar to me. We're meeting for the first time, yes. How'd you find me? Uh, you left a pile of corpses behind you. One of our men got to Leonard's flat before Interpol. He also recovered our men's PDAs. One of them 
There was a scan of your ID with a short note about you. Not very wise leaving that one behind. No shit. Sentinus Corporations. We know you're working for them. But the thing is, you shouldn't. No. Considering who you lost. No. You shouldn't. What are you talking about? You're the ones who killed her. Is that what they told you? You know, you really shouldn't be so trusting. It's your virus that killed her. You created Cybertronic murders, and Helena was one of your first victims. We use this virus, yes. But we didn't create it. We modified it, and before that, we stole it from Sintonis. When we began our movement, Sintonis immediately identified us as a threat. They decided to use some pretty extreme measures against us. They developed a program capable of killing a player while he's online. They were scanning every conversation in the verses, and each time they would find some of our men, they'd kill them. That's when we started developing new cloaking tactics. We used small programs to falsify our communications. We developed white zones, like, like the one where you met me online. And then, after a while, we finally figured out how their killing program was working. We built our own. Only we improved it to be able to kill more people at a time. What true heroes you are. I told you online. We're changing our strategy. We're gonna put an end to the killings. What I'm telling you now is that we didn't kill Helena. Sintonist did. Why? Why would Sintonist have wanted her dead? She was close to our movement. She was hoping for more peaceful solutions than the ones that we were contemplating. So yes, we did have our differences sometimes. She was one of us, which made her a target for Sentinels. You can get your revenge, Ash. Help us. We're cornered by the corporations, by Interpol. But we have a plan. Everything is going to end with your help. I guess part of me always knew something was wrong with Helena's death. Now you don't know how right you are when you say they're getting closer to you. I had a friend tap into Interpol's files. Despite your best efforts to conceal all your cash movements, they managed to track the money transfers you made to pay for the rent of the loft that you used to launch the attack. They identified two men. The first one, Leonard Lorenz, he's dead. You don't need to worry about him. And the second one, Fahim Al Saud. He's still alive and he's under heavy surveillance, but I guess he doesn't even have a clue. That's bad news. Fahim is instrumental in our plan. You know your plan to kill more people? No. I swear. We're just gonna do what we've always wanted. Free the connected. This freedom you're offering, is that what they really want? Everyone wants freedom. Are you sure? Because I don't know anymore. But I will help you. I think I know how to make your friend Fahim Get away from Interpol surveillance. You received the message when he was online. 
telling him to go to the Fontaine Saint Anne. Good. Put some men near the front. Not far away from here. Make sure the satellite is locked into us. Yes, sir. There he is. Check the satellite history. I want to know who was here before him. Now watch your head. Thank you. That was well done. Fahim just needs to finish his work and we'll be ready to take action. So what's next? Would you be willing to check with your friend if Interpol has anything else on us? I'd like to avoid any nasty surprises. Looks like I'm all in. If you think my booze is such shit, why do you insist on drinking it? You ever get the feeling that you're being used, that you're nothing but a tool? Oh, you mean when people come knocking at your door all the time, asking you for some illicit stuff to be done for them? No. Not, not that way. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite possible that my client has been using me for years. She's been manipulating me. But then there's these other guys that I'm helping, and their fight is not really my fight. You're helping the necromancers? Are you insane? No, I, I didn't say that. Yeah, I guess I said that. Look, you do as you want, okay? But if I were you, I would take the cash from whatever corporation it is you're working for, and I wouldn't care about the rest. Our world is not to be repaired. We're way beyond that point. So just accept it. You'll sleep better. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. But what if maybe It we... won't bring her back to you, Nash. Or to me, for that matter. So did you get any information, anything on Interpol servers? Yes, actually. They have an informant. Apparently someone who works with the necromancers. Something just popped up about them supposed to meet with them in one hour at the old city hall of 18th arrondissement. No, that's not good news at all. You know, and I better check it out.
go. Mr. Trent. You can put those hands down now. expecting you, Mr. Trenton. Even though, of course, I couldn't be sure you would be showing up. It's always nice to be given the opportunity to challenge one's own intuition. Have we met? No, we haven't. But I've seen you. Probably several times. And you are a bit of a mystery, to be honest, Mr. Trenton. That's what the ladies say. Although, coming from you, it's a bit of a surprise. Well, you see, the history of the camera recording on the intersection between Rue des Deux Frères and Rue Montaubar shows you, a few hours after a certain cybertronic attack, I'm sure you're aware of. A few other people are also to be seen, though, so at that time, you were just one among others. Face in the crowd. But more recently, I happened to lose a lead under a bridge. And what do I see when I check the satellite image? A few minutes before that, a guy who really looks like you going under the same bridge and never reappearing from it. <laughs> Whoever disappeared our lead must have had access to our intel, so. All I had to do was to draft a note about some fake meeting with an informant and then wait and see who'd pay us a visit. Now, there is one thing I don't understand about you. First, you're seen near the place from where Leonard Lawrence launched his cybertronic attack. Sometime later, we find him dead, along with three other corpses no proof but enough substantial evidence to conclude you are likely to have murdered them now I've had your bank accounts checked your money always comes from the same source in turn is so um, basically you're easy to profile you're one of the shadow agents but then and here comes the part that puzzles me why help a terrorist to escape? Undercover work of some kind? I'm guessing this fantastic, incredibly long-winded monologue has a point. You're conducting unauthorized actions for Sinternus. And by doing so, you're interfering with my investigation. So what does that mean? Am I under arrest? Mm, not necessarily, no. As for now, I haven't written anything concerning you on my files. The agency doesn't know about your involvement in this case, nor do they know about Sinternus' involvement, for that matter. Why not? Oh. You want to negotiate something? <laughs> that is so very astute of you, Mr. Trenton. Yes, indeed. What do you want? Right to the point, huh? Well, I want you to continue working for Sinternis, as you already do. But at the same time, I want you to work for us from now on. Everything they learn, we learn it first. And before any drastic action, you must ask for our authorization. Okay, I'll see what I can do. How did you know? We wanted to keep an eye on you, just to be sure. When you left your friend's place, one of my men called me. 
came to check. And when we saw these cops with their guns aimed at you, we figured you needed some help. Thanks. I think we lost an opportunity. Which one? Having your two enemies, Sintonis and Interpol, fighting each other. It's no longer an option. Anyway, it doesn't change much now. Our plan's almost ready. Well, thanks to you, I think I'm off the radar again. Um, you know, it wouldn't be such a bad idea to include me in your plan. Okay. Let's move first. Then I'll tell you. I told you, we want to free the connected. And we finally found a way. We're going to launch a virus that Fahim created. This program will progressively shut down every console until the verses themselves disappear. People will be forced offline. They'll get their lives back. <laughs> They'll go out into the streets again live. They're talking about a worldwide revolution. Worldwide? Yes. There's just one problem. Imagine that. In order to be able to replicate and spread, we need the virus to be launched from within the matrix of one of the main verses. Which means? Which means we need it to be launched from inside Sintonis headquarters. That's where you come in. No, 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 no. I I'm not a programmer. I don't have the first damn clue about hacking. You don't need to. Just take this device with you the next time you go there. All you need to do is stay near a high clearance computer long enough. From there, our hackers will blow the protections. Then the virus will be launched. It'll attack progressively. By the time the shutdown really begins, you won't even be in the building anymore. Nothing will connect you to the attack. Get some rest. Our team needs to prepare. In a few hours, we'll be ready. Let us know when you're going to Sintonis headquarters. This is an important moment. Tomorrow, the world will be very different. All of the verses will have ceased to exist. All of them? All the major ones, yes. Let's get ready. I'm no hero. Never was, never will be. That just isn't me. Many centuries of evolution to end up like vegetables wired to machines. I don't know if a god exists or if there is a purpose to our existence. But if there is, you can bet it's not to become such derelicts. Then again, no one was forcing anyone to spend their life online. That was the people's choice. Is it possible to force people into freedom? And if it is, should it be done? Are you okay? You really seem elsewhere. How would you describe our relationship? Love. Why give names? That was good for the old world. Now online, we don't need this. I'm well with you. You're well with me. It's all that matters.
suffering? Is that what they really want? Everyone wants freedom. Are you sure? Because I don't know anymore. Do you know what happened? I was online. I followed it from there. The necromancers tried to free the gamers against their will. It's ironic, isn't it? In order to free them, they had to force them to do the very thing they didn't want to do. Which is quite the opposite of being free, isn't it? I see your point. Anyway, the cell has been destroyed. We found the bodies and the computers and the identity of the remaining members. Most importantly, we have crushed them. They were given the proof that the people will not follow them. All this is to say that your mission is over. You will get paid the rest of your money for the four necromancers you've eliminated within the week. Oh, Nash. Our programmers have conclusive evidence that the virus that was launched could only have succeeded via a relay inside our headquarters. I take it as a coincidence that you happen to have been there right before the attack. Wrong place, wrong time. Story of my life. You do know if I was to start an investigation and it was to prove that you had anything to do with this attack, the most probable outcome would be the death penalty. I do. I won't, though. This case is closed. I have enjoyed working with you, but our collaboration is over. You are not to be allowed in these offices again, and it's best that we never hear from you. Do we have an understanding? I believe we do, yes. Good. Nash, I have a question. You, of all people I would have thought, wouldn't have turned. I'm not saying that you did, but if you had, what would have convinced you? I don't know. Maybe learning that the virus which killed Helena was created by Sinterness. Is that what they told you? That we killed Helena? Yes, we created the virus. But if you had looked at our history, you would have seen that the necromancers designed their own version of the virus months before Helena's death. She was working for us. She was infiltrating potential troublemakers online when they found out and eliminated her. I don't know who to believe. I told you the truth, Nash. What you believe is up to you. You've made enough money to have a comfortable life online and off. Farewell, Nash. Farewell, Dina. Camille was expecting a revolution, but as I said at the beginning of this story, the revolution already happened, and we were too damn busy to notice it. Dina was right. I was in a position of choosing a comfortable life. Nothing was keeping me in the old world anymore. So I decided to stop being a hybrid. Too painful. I'm a connected now, like most of the population. The money I earned allows me to add features that make me enjoy the experience even more fully. And who's to say that what I'm experiencing isn't real? Studies from the beginning of the century prove that the brain couldn't make a difference between real and virtual. Your brain secretes the same hormones in the same quantity if you were seeing real friends you like, 
or if you're watching a TV show with characters that you enjoyed in the same quantity. So if my brain is telling me that what I'm living is real, who the hell are you to tell me it's not?